All right, I just wanted to do a quick little video here on how to customize your directions in your Google Forms. Um, natively, there's no real way to do that um, in Google Forms. There's no bold buttons, no italic buttons. So for now, until they add that functionality, what you need to do is you need to put in some code. Uh, this is just some sample codes that I put in here uh, just to kind of show you what it looks like. Um, if you want to do bold, what you got to do is you got to put a um, a starting code and an ending code. Um, for bold it's B, italics is I, underline is U. Um, to put in the code you just put these two carrots, put the B in the middle, and then to end it you put a forward slash, um, or I'm sorry, backward slash, and then another B, and then end the code like that. That's how all these codes start and end. So, uh, that's how you do bold, italics, and underline. So everything in the middle will be what is bold, italics, and underlined. You can also change font sizes like this. Uh, the code to do that is this right here. Uh, it starts the code, font size equals two. That's pretty small, and it goes up to seven. Um, I'll show you that example here. You'll see what that looks like here in a minute. Uh, the one thing you do want to make sure you keep in mind though is whatever you put the font size as, uh, that is what it will be for the rest of the document, or the rest of the direction. So if I have font size seven, will make everything 7 really big until you change the font size. Uh, if you want to center something, uh, real quick and easy, you just put in a center tag, which is this. Pick in the center, and then put it at the end, whatever you want to center. If you want to add a horizontal line, this is the code to make a horizontal line. It's just HR. Then I'll make a separator line. I'll show you that in just a moment. And uh, actually, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like before I do the colors. All right, so I've got some of my sample code. This is the one I made bold, italics, underline. These are the different font sizes, so you get an idea of which one it is, and how big it is. Um, here's the center, here's that horizontal line. And now for the color codes. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to um, find out, there's a, there's a website and, and attached to this post on my blog, I'm going to go ahead and put some directions and some links on some sites you can go to to find these codes. But the first thing you need to do is you need to find a site that will show you uh, the code for each color. Every color has its own code. Um, I'll give you an example of that. I'm just going to go real quick to Google and I'm just going to put in HTML color codes and you'll get a bunch of sites that will show you these codes. I think the one I like the best is this one. Because when it comes up, you can see that the codes are right on top of the colors. So if I want this dark red, all I would have to do is copy that, come back into my form, and then here, in the middle of these quotation marks, I would hit paste, and that would be the color for dark red. Um, but the code itself is font color equals, and then quotes, put in the color code, and the quote, and then close off the um, code itself and then whatever comes after that is going to be that color. So now that I've changed that and it's saved you'll see that instead of blue that should turn that dark red color. Uh, let's pop it up down here. Yeah, see? There we go. So that's how to do those codes and again attached to this post um, you're going to see um, the directions that I have written out. You can download those and uh, a couple links there too. Good luck.